Yo, 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 what up? Good morning. Uh, another day that we can all be uh, grateful that we're above dirt and maggot free. Um, it's a little after six. Just got done with Raghunath's uh, morning class. And uh, I'm down at the beach to do my run. A little chilly, a little wet. Um, Jersey Shore. So I thought I'd get a few thoughts out there before I uh, started my run. Uh, I posted a couple days ago about um, idle time and what we do with it and staying disciplined. Sometimes the best result of discipline is simply developing more discipline, not what that discipline achieves. Um, staying in routine, um, keeping to it as uh, strict as possible. Um, and that led me to thinking about routine itself and the rituals we do. Um, you know, what we consume is very important um, because what we consume consumes us. So if we're consuming something um, unhealthy and not productive, you know, that'll be the consequence. And if we're uh, consuming what's positive, healthy, and um, uplifting for our well-being, then that will consume us. So it's uh, not complicated spiritual practice, man. It's, it's, it's just a sensible, practical application of the teachings. So um, I, def I define spirituality for myself as any um, activity that um, engages my spirit, that engages my passion, that that um, that drives me, that be, that gets me driven um, in in the, a positive, healthy direction. Um, uh, ritual is the activity that we we choose to engage in to to uh, to do that, and um, we can engage in our rituals religiously. So. Um, that's kind of my life. Everything I do, I, I, I'm careful about what I consume. And, uh, um, you know, and, and that's another thing too. While, of course, we've all been doing a lot more chanting and a lot more meditation and a lot more reading of sacred literature and uplifting books. And, um, you know, it, it doesn't mean we, we, we have to go into silent retreat for the quarantine. It doesn't mean that our whole day has to be consumed with only those kind of things, even though those are vital. Um, you know, for me, I've been doing a lot of reading of um, all sorts of different spiritual literature. I've been doing a lot of writing. Um, you know, I got two more books that I'm, I'm in the midst of writing. Uh, I've been doing a lot of um, guitar playing. And, you know, yes, a lot of kirtan, writing a lot of music. Um, but, you know, playing a lot of music that, um, you know, I love that has nothing to do really with um, chanting or kirtan. It's just, um, it's a meditative experience for me. And it's a positive um, discipline for me to, to just break out the guitar and jam and, and feel uh, that kind of joy and connection. So um, whatever rituals you engage in, Make sure that um, they're, they're igniting your passion, that they're moving your spirit in the right direction, and um, keep consuming that kind of stuff. So uh, those are today's thoughts. I'm going to go get a run in. And uh, also, real quick, um, weather permitting, I'm doing a live kirtan actually from the beach, live stream for my friends at Meta Yoga here in Jersey, but you can go on their Instagram page to see that. And uh, later on, late afternoon, early evening, uh, Rachie Poo and I will be doing another live stream of Kirtan. And we can, we're can we gonna continue to do this stuff all through this, uh, this ordeal, this situation. And um, hopefully it's uplifting and helpful to others, but really it's about being helpful and uplifting to ourselves. You know, it's our practice and it's, uh, it's what we need to consume. So uh, have a great maggot-free day above the dirt. Peace out.